Alison Risk, what makes her a tough opponent for you? Oh, I think Alison's not just a tough opponent for me. She's a tough opponent for, for every single girl on the tour, and she's got the ability to, to adapt her game to, to make the opponent uncomfortable, and I think um, she's, she's got a, a great tennis brain of problem-solving as well. As for the most difficult conditions you've played on Rod Laver Arena, and what did you need to do to, uh, to uh, just moderate your game? Yeah, tricky conditions. I think end-to-end -end was very different. Um, the, the breeze is always a little bit different at court level um, than it is kind of up in the stands. And, yeah, tonight it was um, stronger than the other days. And, yeah, it was, it was just about adapting and, and trying to work through it as best that you can. It was um, important to try and hold and, and stay and, and fight for every point from, from the uh, end where you're against the wind uh, and then make the most of it when you're with the wind. How valuable was the uh, Wimbledon experience against Alison going into tonight and getting out of it? Well, both, both times I've played Alison have been tough matches. I've been in a position where uh, I put myself in the right position. I was in a winning position and, w and wasn't able to kind of go on with it. And I think tonight it was important to get off to a good start, a bit of a disappointing second set where I was a little bit loose and just pressed a bit too much. But i um, very proud of, of the way that we are kind of able to, to bring it back in the third uh, and go back to the patterns that I wanted to play. What makes you better equipped now to play Petra as opposed to this time last year, if indeed that is the case? I'm more experienced. I've played Petra a few more times, and um, yeah, tactically, the the last few times we've played Petra, it's we've had a small small adjustment, small changes, and um, it's never an easy match. I think they've uh, maybe all but one have gone to three sets. So I think um, you know I'm looking forward to another battle against a, a quality opponent. Ash, I spoke to Justine Hernan the other day, and she said to me that uh, you were a favorite player to watch because of your game, because of your approach of the tennis. I wondered, when you were younger and coming up, uh, was she also a role model for you, or was it more Kim Kleisters because it was Aussie Kim? Yeah, I think um, no one, I think, ever disliked watching Justina. Her game was uh, incredible. Uh, she's an incredible athlete, obviously. Um, the one-handed backhand at the time made was that point of difference, and, and her slice was incredible as well. But um, someone I enjoyed watching uh, growing up. But, um, yeah, I mean, I tried to to create my own style uh, of tennis, my own style um, for, for me to try and play and, and develop and grow into. Ash, since the tournament moved here, like in 88, you've, you've become the first Australian player to ever make two quarterfinals here in singles, which is cool. Um, is. But that probably <laughs> indicates that there's, you know, some unique pressures or challenges for local players doing it because no one else has ever been able to do it more than once. And I was just wondering if you could talk about some of them going through this right now, when you are a local player playing in singles and you are a top player, what are some things unique to playing here that you don't have at other slams? Yeah, well, I think it's it's a little bit different. I think every year, um, you know, conditions can change dramatically. Um, you know, it can be really warm and that changes the court, changes the balls, changes the way that the, the matches are played, or it can be cold, it can be raining with roofs closed and all of these variables that come into it. But I think um, year in, year out, it's, it's about trying to be consistent every single match and trying to be present every single match and not thinking about what's happened before, um, not thinking about what's to come. It's just about trying to do the best that you can on that given day and... Um, Look, we're, we're, all, we're all human. We, we're not going to be 100% every single day. We're not going to win every single time. But uh, all you can do is try and put your best foot forward, regardless of whether you're playing in Australia or, or all around the world. Ash, what does it mean to you to be Young Australian of the Year? <laughs> it's, it's very humbling. It really is. It's, um, yeah, very much a surprise. Uh, look, I'm just trying to, trying to be the best that I can be. Uh, I'm just trying to be true to myself and, and stick to the values that my, my mum and dad taught me and, and that my family um, have kind of instilled in me growing up and it's just amazing it's an it's a privilege it's an honor uh, and extremely humbling that was the exact question i was going to ask so but uh, look, so what, what, what are the what are those values to you um the values that were instilled in you and also i was wondering there was a there was a protest of australia day today downtown like fifty thousand people i'm wondering how aware you were of that protest and what you think of it people are call, calling for the end of australia day I mean, I wasn't aware of the protest. I wasn't. I wasn't keeping an eye on it. But I mean, I'm an. I'm a proud Indigenous woman. I'm. I'm a proud Australian. Um, and for me, um, it doesn't matter uh, what day of the year it is. I'm. I'm going to stay true to my values. Um, all throughout the year, all throughout my life, every single day. I, I want to be kind. I want to be honest. I want to be humble. Um, and I want to give the best that I can. And that's all that matters for me. Getting back to what I asked before, have you ever met? Justine or Kim, and are you aware that Kim is going to come back in, in a month's time? On the tour? Yeah, uh, I saw Justine actually um, 
in Perth in the Fed Cup final and it was nice to have a, a very brief chat to her. Um, obviously she had just flown in and was very jet lagged and I was just going out to practice so it was a very a very brief discussion but um, she's an incredible person and I think uh, as for Kim I, I hope that her body um, stays healthy. I think first and foremost that's that's the challenge is that um, she can get back to a position where she can play at her best tennis and it's exciting um, that she's made the decision to come back and um, yeah for I think for, for all of us but, but for her sake I, I mean Touch wood, hopefully she stays healthy. When Jim asked you out on court for about Australia Day, it wasn't awkward for you at all, um, just celebrating? Why should it be awkward? Uh, because of your proud, and you've made uh, spoken countlessly about how proud you are with your Indigenous background, and obviously there's that public debate. Yeah, I'm, I'm an extremely proud Indigenous woman, but it's not for me to decide... Um, what day Australia Day is on, uh, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm staying true to my values. I, I am extremely proud of my heritage, and that's going to remain the same every single day of every single year of the rest of my life. Uh, it doesn't really matter what day it is.